Okay, here's the Ninja again, 300. Um, the other parts that it had busted is it's missing a switch. That's what it looks like inside there. So lately, I've actually been jumping the connection across those turret terminals to get it to start. But today, I've got a new switch group and I want to see what it takes to put it up. Okay, so this is the new switch. It's this part that's busted, right? So get a new switch. I bought the whole set, you know, just from a junkyard off of eBay. And what's nice is looking at what type of parts. So these two connections here are going to be really simple. They just go to the brake lever to make sure the brake lights come on and make it so... Anyway, there you go. And then this one is going to be the main connector that we're going to have to hunt in there. There's a fasten down thing. I'll show you where that is in a second. Okay, so back at the switch, if we look in right here, right here, this is the connector, those two little connectors we were looking at. So those we'll just unplug, attach into the right brake handlebar. And then if we look down inside here, you'll see the connector we're gonna have to get to, that one. Now, I may have to end up taking off the fairings and tank, but we'll see how far we can get just Weaseling something down in there. But that is that connector, and then downstream of that, so within the t underneath the tank area, is where that connection is going to be. For okay, so here's the Allen wrench I used. It was a 6 16th, and the good news is that I was able to get it out so far. We'll see how much farther we can make without having to pull apart everything. There is the Allen. You can see I've loosened it up the way it was. Move the handlebar so I had And then my hand can fit right in the here. And I can access with the L down, I can, we can torque it open. So I've gotten that loose. So next I'm going to pull that out and we'll see if there's any slack. The connector's just downstream of that fitting. If there's any slack, I'll pull it forward to where I can see it. If there's not, I'll still have to remove the tank of fairings. Okay. Just by some wiggling in there, got the connector off. You can see this one, this presses down to release it. Okay, so next, we're gonna take a look at the back of the bars here, and you can see we've got right here, and right here, so there and there. We've got places for a Phillips head screwdriver to go in there. So we're gonna do that to release the clamshell. Okay, so here I took apart the the new piece, so you can just see what the internals look like. This is where the throttle cable is going to come into and then attach to the throttle tube. This is the on-off switch on the top. This is the ignition button right there. And then this tube, of course, slides onto the handlebar or clip-on. Okay, so I've separated the top. It's ready to move. But you have to take off the bar ends. Of course, that's what's holding the tube on there. So we need another Phillips head to unscrew the bar end. Well, I'm honestly, tell you what, I'm leaving my bar end on because this thing is so tight on there, it was bending the screwdriver. But I separated the clamshells and you can see how the, the cables are gonna fit. So you've got one, this one interlaces into that little groove right here, goes up and come on, on the outside. The other one, right here comes and links in on the inside so that's how we'll put it in together again and then i'll try to just i'll just swap out this connection part rather than the whole tube okay those are the little connectors we're going to take off next okay here's the old one 1972 the new one 2573 putting it back together is going to be the exact opposite of taking it apart Okay, just finished putting it together. Threaded it through the bottom. Forked it through this tube right here. Always making sure that you have enough slack that you're never gonna bind when you turn your, your handlebars. But there's a lot of room in there. Then I, the other two cords just plug back into the brake. These are your main wires going into the bottom. I will have to say, it took me a little bit of finagling. If the tank's off, it's got to be like maybe a 15 minute job. Um, mine probably took like 45 minutes. 
Then, with that done, here we go. He's got his button back, yay. So, on. There you go.